hello everyone this is raju mathu and welcome you again so today i am going to describe you the way to make a progress bar using the slider so generally slider is used to display or used to select any value within a range of a va value like suppose we can select any of the value within the region of this slider that i am currently displaying on the screen so today i am going to describe you how can we use this slider as a progress bar so generally progress bar is used to display the amount of work done on background suppose like while uploading or downloading we can display it we can use it to display how much uploading is done currently is done or how much downloading currently is covered so let's go to the code and let's see how we can do this so to make it simple i have already coded all the required code so as i proceed i will uncomment the code accordingly so before that so we need to create a window so here i have created variable which holds the current create window so and it will at the end i have called the window dot open which will call this window in a screen so here you can see that this i have used window dot open to view the window on the screen so now to have the slider on our screen let's add the slider on the screen so here it is so i have called the titanium dot ui dot create slider api which will create a slider on the screen and i have named it as a slider as progress bar as i will use it as a progress bar so i have named it like this and make the width and minimum value and maximum value as this slider need to be have a selected uh, starting value and the ending value so that we can select the value in the range of this min and max then let's create a scenario like we will have a button on click of this button we will progress start the progress bar so it will start to progress as we times elapsed so let's create a button so here i have already created a button using that create button api so here it is start button so here you can see that i have called the titanium dot ui to display or to create a create slider to create a slider but here i have used ti dot ui to create a button so it's similar to use titanium or ti ti so for the time we can also use titanium or sometimes we can use titanium it's all the same things then let's add the button on the to the window then also the slider i'm going to add it on the window sorry now the slider generally we have is we can we have this thumb image like here we can we might have a thumb image using which we can select the value within the selected range so as we will use this as a slide progress bar so i need to remove this thumb image so for that slider have a property called thumb image so we can add a transparent image on the uh, to this thumb image so that i have uh, for that things i have used a transparent trans dot png image so here i have you can see that i have put it on the root folder resource so no need to 
add any directory here to add this image so directly we can add this transparent image to its thumb image as it is thumb image for the slider then let's define it its initial value so that it can be at it zero point then the generally the slider we can touch it and we can move the slider along its width so as we will use it as a progress bar so we need to restrict this functionality so to make it restrict let's disable the touch enable property of the slider so that it will not allow to touch on the slider value slider then now so according to the situation or the scenario on click of this start button on click of this start button we will progress the slider value so let's add a click event for this slider uh, start button Now here on this click event, you can see that at the initial pos position, I have make the make the slider value as a zero. Then I have created a variable called change val and progress interval. Now on progress interval, I have checked it to progress to clear the value into the progress interval. Now here you can see the do the progress step where we will generally progress the value of the slider within an interval of one second and as I have assigned it to 100 the maximum value so up to this value we will check this so that it can get back to its initial position after it reached to the maximum position. So let's save it and I'm going for run this application to the simulator so we can use this functionality or use these methods in various place in various p condition or various situation we need to use progress bar for upload download to signify the amount of data that are uploading or data that are going to be downloaded so you can use that progress bar at that place or sometimes in some background background job also we can use this progress bar to show the amount of work done in at the background so here it is you can see that it's at the its initial position which is a zero so now if i click on this start progress button it will initially progress its value towards the end so here you can see that now here you can see that it was progressing to the end so each every second it will progress to the its maximum value so we can also dynamically assign the initial start value and the end value so that it will progress according to the amount of the job that is going to be done at the background so up to this for the today Thanks.